Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my November bullet journal spread. The first thing I want to do is actually change out the journaling card. I like to write my setup on here just so I have an idea of where I want everything to go. And this month I actually made a pack of journaling cards to match this collection. I had a couple of requests to start adding the journaling cards to my shop. So I decided to add these five journaling cards so they are available now this month's collection is sweet and cozy so more of like a coffee shop sweet treat type of vibe thought that would be perfect for November where it's like fall but also heading into winter time and it is my birthday month so I really wanted it to be you know more of my pastel purpley pink type of colors that I absolutely love and then I'm just taking a bit of washi tape to make sure that the card is in place so let's go ahead and start with this month I did leave a couple extra pages open for the last couple weeks of October so I could journal in so the first First thing I want to put down is my moon phase. So this is the November moon phase chart. Um, I think I started doing this, yeah, with the September theme because September theme was space and I just absolutely loved it so much that I made one for October and November and of course I'll make one for December as well so you guys can see I'm um, starting with my cover page here sweet as can be which totally fits this cover page you guys can see the November nameplate and then the sweet and cozy sign hanging from the adorable little hearts and then of course we had to make all of the sweet treats for the coffee shop so muffins some cookies a scone um, lots of fun little treats and then guys I just absolutely love the chair and table that goes with the coffee shop so moving on to the next page this is going to be for my calendar now these are very large sticker sheets if you have not seen um, me place them down I do like to turn the bullet journal um, lengthwise I just find it so much easier to hold the sticker sheet this way and line it up against the dots on the edge there. So for this calendar I decided to try um, some of the stickers in the brand new four teeny kit. Um, this one is the monthly kit. There's also a weekly kit that is a little bit smaller. This one I think has nine sticker sheets um, and I was so excited to find that the little quarter boxes um, fit perfectly in the the monthly calendar so I love love that I can add these to the calendar as well so I'm writing in my new releases for Friday um, I had previously had my new releases going out on Tuesday but I have been seeing that you guys really enjoy the Friday releases a lot more so I'm gonna stick with Friday releases for November I just wrote um, new releases on every Friday sometimes it is just revamps um, but I usually have something new or revamped on Fridays now. Um, I also put down my bundles shipped and my bundles paid. Um, bundles actually go out every month from the 1st to the 6th of the month and then they renew on the 20th of the month. I'm just finishing up filling in the rest of the things for November. I like to keep this calendar just for my Etsy shop so I'm just writing in the requests and revamps that I want to do for the month. The rest of the layout I will fill in throughout the whole month. So moving on to my next pages, this is going to be for my Instagram tracker and my work schedule. I don't know, is it a tracker or a calendar? You guys let me know down below. So um, last month I made this spread and it was a slight failure, maybe because I just wasn't used to it. Um, so I wasn't really grabbing it and writing things down. So I wanted to try it again this month. Um, I'm making it very, very simple with just a line up top and then just adding a touch of color with my dual Tombow brush pens this one is just a light shade of pink that I'm adding like a drop shadow right to the bottom of the black there I'm also going to add a couple pieces of deco stickers that I have on my mandala sheet here which you guys will see shortly 
And then I'm just writing in 1 through 30 and then the days of the week. So um, November starts out on Thursday. So Thursday the 1st all the way to the 30th. Now I'm using a Micron pen. This is number 8. So it is a lot darker of a color. I wanted to try um, the number 8 pen on the right and then also the number 5 pen on the left. Um, I typically like to write with the 5. Um, but it is a lot thinner and I have noticed that um, I am very heavy handed when I write and so I tend to push the um, tip in on the number five pen and so I end up destroying the pen fairly quickly so I wanted to see if um, the number eight would hold up a little bit um, better but I'm not quite sure how I'm liking it if you guys have any recommendations for pens for heavy handed people let me know you guys can see I'm also adding a little bit of color to Monday just so I can mark the first of each week starting so moving on to my next page this one's also going to be a fairly simple layout it's going to be a list of my designs and also um, of my new releases so I like to keep a page of all the things that I want to design for the month and then on the right hand side I like to write in all of the new releases that I released on each Friday that way I kind of know um, what I'm doing especially I can look back last year and see when did I release my Halloween collection or Christmas collection things like that and then I can gauge whether or not I need to release them earlier or later for the next year so I'm just putting down a few more extra sticker bits from the mandala sheet um, that was a new addition for this month's bundle typically um, the mandala that you buy in the shop will just be the mandala but if you get the bundle um, it did come with some extra deco and then also a little strip that you could mark off the tracker so I'm putting down my November tracker now now I didn't really change up too much I did take away a few things um, I did a really good job of um, using this all through October and I pretty much filled it in all the way. There's still obviously a couple days left of October, um, but I'm hoping that I can fill it in all the way this month. That will be super exciting. So now I'm moving on to the Mandela. This one is the one with no line. So there are two different options in the shop. One with just the Mandela that you can fill it in all of the fun little little treats and coffee and things like that or they have um, 30 different lines um, all the way through the mandala that you can use as a guide and then you can mark off um, the little markers on the tracker there um, I actually just chose six different categories this month so creative productive happy stressed lazy day and feeling like poo now I don't have that many poo days but sometimes uh, you just have one so I wanted to include that now I'm putting down my November doodle challenge guys this is absolutely my favorite part of the bullet journal um, I was super super scared to start doing the doodle challenge um, when I first started it but now it has become my favorite part of the day so if you guys want to see my doodles a lot of times I will do them um, in action on Instagram um, or sometimes at the end of my studio vlog so um, definitely stay tuned to the end of the studio vlogs if you guys want to get a little bit of the drawings in action so moving on to my next page here this is my highlight page so even though I do a little bit of journaling in um, this bullet journal I also also like to add a highlight page so I um, get to come to this page and see exactly what happened throughout the month so you guys can see Patty has been super super sweet during this video so um, she has been wanting a ton of attention now I think it's probably because um, we had the vacuum out this morning and I don't know about you if you have cats this cat here she just absolutely is terrified of the vacuum I don't know what it is the vibrations or something but it definitely just 
puts her on edge so she is needing a lot of attention right now I figured she could just hang with me during the rest of my plan with me so I hope you guys don't mind so I'm moving on to my next page here now this is going to be for my um, journaling page so I'm making it a little bit different this month um, I'm adding a, a, like a little bit more space it's um, six cells for um, Monday through Saturday and then Sunday is a little bit larger I'm not quite sure I think it was maybe eight cells so just taking a ruler to make sure that I draw a straight line this is an Erin Condren ruler if you guys um, are curious I do still use my Erin Condren I did just do a plan with me where I did four um, weekly kits for four different weeks so you guys got were able to see a full month in my Erin Condren which was the very first time that I did that so um, if you guys want to see that video I will leave a little card in the right hand corner now I also grabbed the date covers in the four teeny kit um, to use it for this layout and I thought if they were perfect I'm just so super happy that the four teeny kit works in the bullet journal as well I absolutely loved it so I decided to add a few more stickers now I added the midweek spread the weekly spread so I can post those on Instagram I also put down the little weekend banner on Saturday super cute and then even the full box fit at the end of the week which I thought was perfect as well so I'm just putting down the last bits of my sweet and cozy kit so that is a look at my November bullet journal I hope you guys enjoyed this collection as much as I did and enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video bye